yeah, here we are on the surface of the freaking moon, guys. Come on, man. How cool is that? So at the moment, at this moment, uh, these guys, they'd be there. Uh, my three carbonauts are wishing that they, somebody had the foresight to install an external hatch, like an airlock and a ladder and stuff like that. As it is, uh, there is going to be no EVA. Maybe they've got, a, I think they've got a little telescoping, a little scooper arm that's going to go out there and scrape up some dirt and some couple of rocks. Uh, EVA that's going to have to wait for a couple other, a couple other de uh, updates. <laughs> I'm just excited. I want the moon, man. I want to zoom out and look where we are. Yep, right in the middle of that huge crater. Not exactly the center of the huge crater, but there it is. Yeah, we'll look around. We'll we'll kind of hang out in the surface of the moon here. We'll take some observations, we'll look at the stars, we'll, um, I don't see any evidence of the, the, pre the previous missions, I don't see those Kerbinauts around here anywhere, which is kind of sad, but, oh well. I hope, I hope that eventually that, you know, that I know that eventually in this game that we will have the ability to do EVAs, I hope that we'll be able to get out there and plant a flag, because you're on the moon, you have to plant a flag, right? Okay. Well, now let's start thinking about the trip home. I'm just now thinking about this and realizing I've never really paid any attention to any any guides that anybody's put together for uh, the best way to get home. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, orbit I'm gonna orbit the moon and burn when it looks like uh, it just looks right to me. <laughs> Hey, well, let's get this thing pointed 90 first. Let's turn RCS on. Let's thrust upward just a hair. No, actually, I wonder, can I just rotate? Hmm. Yeah, that's not working. Can I go forward? Yeah, it's a little moon buggy. Not quite working, though, is it? <laughs> yeah, I've got all this RCS fuel to burn. Some th upwards thrusting, and there we go. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Oh, come on, guys. Point at 90. Point it at 90. 90, I said. There we go. <laughs> it's a little moon buggy. I'm thinking that the gravity's light enough. I, I wonder if I actually burnt all the RCS fuel. I wonder if I could just drive for that hill that's straight ahead there and just evil can evil it, you know, get take off that way. I bet you it would work. I'm not going to try it this time. We'll try and be all conservative this time. Okay. Okay. Um, SAS on. Here we go. Thrust upwards. Oh, we're still we're trying to pitch forward now because of the balance issues. Turn the SAS off. Point at 90. And let's burn. And point up. There we go. About right about there. Turn RCS off. Don't need that now. I'm trying to get this lined a little bit more precisely with 90. There we go. Oh, crap. Shut that down. Yeah, okay, that track's way out there, isn't it? Actually, the way that's going, I wonder if I could, if I just continued that burn, it could probably just do a completely direct ascent to, to back to Kerbin, huh? I believe, but I believe doing that would be wasteful of fuel. And this thing... No, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to orbit the moon again. That's what I'm going to do. Because I believe that doing it that way, transitioning from an, an orbit is more efficient. And, I, and I'm really not certain about the fuel status. I think I have, an, I have plenty of fuel, but, you know, I haven't tried it before. <laughs> 
There goes the moon, there goes our crater. Pretty damn cool, you ask me. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm happy. This is working. This is working. Okay, let's do some time compression. Oh, that's right. Hang on. Turn the SAS off, huh? Get up there to Epoepsis. Watch me. I, I, I bet you somebody will eventually point out that I've been pronouncing that wrong on this whole time. It might, maybe it's Epoepsis or something. I don't know. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. Center that ball right there. Do some more burning. What is this up at her? 130. Okay, that works. That works. Pretty close to circular. Is that 137, 125? Yeah, it's not, not too bad, huh? And I'll get around here to the other side. And once I get around to this, this point down here, I'll do some more burning because that'll put my trajectory right, right up there close to Kerbin. Pretty cool, huh? And let me see. Yep, our forward tanks are almost gone. Still have not yet touched the tip tanks. Excellent. Happiness, happiness. I am so happy. This, this, everything, everything so far is working out as planned. This makes me happy. I'm gonna pause it for one second. I'm back. Just had to restart the music. Got too quiet. <laughs> oh, wow. This is good. This is good. This is feeling like a success. Maybe it wasn't a bad idea to go for such a um, complicated, ambitious project for my first thing. My first my first stated project with, with Kerbal Space Program. You know there's going to be more. I mean, I may eventually... I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the game away and I'll go uh, do series with other games. But... Yeah, I'm coming back to this one again and again. There's many, many more challenges available just with the current state of the game, let alone whatever they're going to add in the future. Okay. Time compression. Let's go. Okay, so I think right here is a good spot. I think. I could be wrong about that. Flip this thing around 180 degrees. Right about there. Oops, overshot it a little bit. Right about there. Okay. Do some burning. And there we go. Now we're on our last pair. Whoa. Let's not get too excited here, guys. Okay. Yep. That looks like that'll certainly be a Kerbin intercept, huh? Ooh, kind of off the ecliptic. Oh, I'll make it work. Okay, okay. I see that. Yeah, getting... Oh, hang on. I can get rid of those. Bang! Get rid of those guys. 
Bye bye over and under tanks. See as time goes by, we'll keep on getting rid of that junk and this thing looks more and more like an airplane. <laughs> I wonder if that is actually the efficient way to get back to Kerbin. I should look that up and figure out what the most efficient way is, huh? Because I was just kind of guessing. Oh, I didn't realize my path would move like that. That's interesting. Oh, did I... Oh, oh. 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 That's probably bad. Okay, so now I am in orbit around Kerbin, but it's a huge orbit. It's larger than the moon's orbit. Um. I don't think I have enough fuel to move to orbit that far enough to fix this. That, that was bad. Okay, let's think on this. I'm still close to the moon. Is there a way I can use that? Can I, say, go back and I set up an, an orbit, try and do like a slingshot around the moon? Look at that fuel. Wow, that didn't quite work. Or should I not try and do anything fancy? Should I just wait, get to periapsis, and lower that apoapsis? That's probably, we'll go with the safer, the safer plan that way. Oh, except I'm going the other direction. Well, I'm still close enough to periapsis right now. Okay, uh, that's how I'll try it. Oh, I think I screwed this up. Am I, are my kerbals going to be lost in space forever? Yeah, maybe I should have looked up a guide on how to get back to Kerbin. Okay, let's try it. Do some burning. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can get back. Throw it slow down. Don't want to... Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Yes, we can get back. Oh, I got lots of fuel left. Look at that. I was too nervous. Too nervous. Okay, that works. It was. I was just kind of freaking out. I shouldn't have freaked out. We'll get back. Okay, more time compression, let's go. No, what the hell? Why, what the hell happened? I just said I didn't want to do that. I, what? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Okay, think on this. Let's think on this. I was moving too slowly. Okay, here's what's... Fuel. Two-thirds of my last fuel tanks here. Oh my god. 